We are now live. We just got done watching Thursday Night Football, Bucks, uh, Bears game, and uh, Twitter saying it was kind of sloppy. I don't. I think it was a little sloppy. I think it was a defensive game. I saw a lot of really good defensive performances and plays by both teams. The Buccaneers have Shaq Barrett, Via Veda, who got injured. Don't know any updates on the injury, uh, but he got injured, and he's still really young. He can improve a lot. They got Sue, uh, and then the Bears just made a ton of plays, and uh, the Bears win it. What are your takes from Thursday Night Football, Mike? Um, yeah, I agree. It was a uh, very defensive game. Khalil Mack was putting a lot of pressure on Brady um, all night, so he was making some, you know, some uncharacteristic throws, I would say. Um, and then it also appeared as if I thought he was going to lead them to the a game winning field goal at the end. But then, you know, the Bears defense was really tough and it looked like he forgot that he uh, it was four down <laughs> at the last drive. So that's pretty uncharacteristic of someone like Brady to like be that flustered, I feel like. Yeah, disappointing, disappointing loss for the Bucks, I would say. But they didn't have a lot of options. Uh, Godwin was out. Scotty Miller was a ghost out there. Um Fournette was hurt. He was just an emergency player, so not a lot of weapons. Rojo was their best weapon. And Mike yeah. Evans is, guys, Mike Evans is not 100%. So keep that in mind. He's playing out of his mind for being injured. Yeah. Like, he's never been healthy this whole year, and yet, you know, he's he's the touchdown guy in fantasy football right now. Um, nobody's doing it like he is in the red zone at the goal line and just grabbing touchdowns consistently, helping out your fantasy team, only playing on one leg, which is pretty incredible. I think if he was Julio Jones' age, <laughs> he probably wouldn't be able to do this because I have no faith in Julio Jones. Coming They're using back. him like like uh, Gronk in his prime. Exactly what I was thinking yeah. when I was watching the game. He reminds me of Gronk, and yeah. Gronk reminds me of Dwayne Allen <laughs> of the page. Or Aaron Hernandez. The current Aaron Hernandez. Ooh, <laughs> don't say that. My, <laughs> I mean, cause Aaron Hernandez was uh, amazing when he was playing. Uh, yes, he was, he he was, was incredible. an tight end. Yeah, he was great. But... I want to get to the real question here, and it's a tough one to bring up, but I, I think I'm going to stand strong on it. Is Brady really the GOAT? Yes. Who's the second? Why is I mean, it? The, well, I feel like Mahomes is about to be the GOAT once yeah, his career Yeah, I mean, over. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd say Brady is better than Aaron Rodgers, let's say, in his career. Or, uh, you know, Mahomes. Well, he's won one. how many championships is Brady won? Five, is it? Yeah, five. But, I mean, he just got beat by. Aaron Rodgers won one? Yeah, that's that's the difference. The team also matters. I don't know. Not really. I don't know only people is... only care about the quarterback. Who won? I, I don't think it's won? such a sacred thing like Michael Jordan. Like, I feel like Michael Jordan is such a, an easy answer. I don't know anymore. Ron wins the fourth one. There might be a debate. He's also lost a lot of championships. But he has four, and he has, and they're all with, like, as him as the best player on different teams. That's pretty impressive. And he's done it longevity-wise for 20 years. I guess you didn't quite get it. It's not not an anti-LeBron thing, but I just feel like Michael Jordan has at least cemented himself as – like you could call him the, I I don't know if Brady is quite not with this generation though. That's no, I know, but I like I'm just saying I, I don't know if Brady is on Michael Jordan's levels, what all I'm saying. In football, no, definitely not. Uh, that that's really all I'm saying when I brought up Michael Jordan. But it's more of a team sport. That's the differential. Like there's fifty guys on a football team. There's only five. Exactly on my court. point, yeah. which brings yeah. up that and you know that's what I said. I didn't want to get into LeBron MJ because LeBron's great. Like there's no doubt about it. So yeah, I, what I wanted to bring up is yeah. I mean, just looking at Rogers now and Rogers in his prime and you know Joe Montana was always a great quarterback. He had a great cast as well though. Great coach. I, I just don't know if Brady is football's Michael Jordan. I, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean Michael Jordan's one of a kind, so. Yeah, I, you know, is he the best quarterback ever? I don't know, I guess. I think he's the most winningest quarterback for sure. Yeah, he's that won all the big debate. games. I mean, he's still. Yeah, he's the most clutch quarterback. At this age, I mean, look at Phillip Rivers, look at Drew Brees. I mean, Brady can still, like, still has, like, he still can throw. Like, you know, he's not yeah. old like those. He threw less. five TDs last week. Yeah, so. he still can do Like, he's not old. Like, he's aged well, which is crazy. Like a fine wine. He's probably aged better than any football player ever. Yeah. Better than Vinatieri, too, his old teammate. Yeah, I mean, uh, every, anyone. Yeah, and uh, uh, that's pretty incredible. But, I mean, at the end, he didn't know it was fourth down. I mean, that's pretty – that's weird. That's though. not I think a that go. Was like... Okay, so, so he's supposed to be Michael Jordan, but he's J.R. Smith. Five minutes ago, he was J.R. Smith. No, but that I mean, he he's allowed to make one mistake. But still, I, like. I, don't, I don't, don't know if he's J.R. He made a. Maybe J- got hit one too many times. Exactly. Maybe he just did it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, know. J.R. Smith never got hit. He's just dumb. Yeah, J.R. Smith just naturally like that. There's <laughs> no excuses. Stupid. Yeah. Brady got hit alone. Today he got hit alone. A lot. <laughs> just yeah. today. I yeah. think he deserves one faux pas after getting just hammered it all It just day. doesn't seem like a goat thing, though, to be like, fourth down? No, that was not a goat thing. Yeah, that's that all. That's all I'm – I am yeah. just – I guess I'm just entertaining it. And it's not a – this is not like a TV segment. He's not the goat and I'm going to argue with – I'm really, like, questioning it. It's tough though, he because he is one of the best, if not the best. You know, looking at his whole career in the Super Bowls, it's tough to argue against it. But just watching him today, and it just got me thinking. Like, I mean, Belichick, and I mean, they didn't win. I, they didn't win with Randy Moss and Wes Welker that well, year. Well, compared to Drew Brees, he's much better. Drew Brees is wash. I'll tell that. To yeah, him, well, look, at, look at Philip. R- Philip Rivers is like a yeah. washed old Drew Brees. It's like yeah. if you watched Brees one more time, he turned into Philip Rivers. God, how did Philip Rivers get a, a, another? Opportunity? We're talking about hits. I, I mean, that was a weird signing by the Colts, but you know, that was super weird. But like, I I mean, I get it. Like they're, you know, when Andrew Luck retired, you know, us dynasty. Uh, owners and fantasy were panicking and we're like oh that's crazy i mean think about what the colts did they're like oh crap we finally have a good team and andrew luck retires i bet you they'll somehow luck into trevor lawrence somehow i feel like they're like a dark horse to me he's like the ne- like he's just like andrew luck which is crazy yeah yeah for sure he's similar definitely a lot of teams are talking about andrew luck though the jets uh, he's too smart. He went to Stanford. There's no way he's gonna. He's gonna do a dumb decision. He's gonna like weasel that. his way out. Yeah. There's no. Well, way. first, I mean, they they'd fire Gase before they even, like, just to just to start before they before they hop on a phone call with Trevor Lawrence, they'd fire Adam Gase just to show that hey, we mean business, okay? We're gonna make you happy, Trevor. Uh, you fire Adam Gase like first, like the very first thing you do. How does Gase still keep getting jobs? Like, I just don't know. I just watched a video from our friend. um, What's the guy? Well, I guess he's not my friend. So I forget his name. (laughs) He's like, oh, sad now. But he was a fan of our channel. And he Hmm. started, he just started his channel a year and a half ago. And now his channel's way bigger than, you know, same story, of course. Uh, Come on, JT O'Sullivan. <laughs> JT O'Sullivan. No, yeah, that's a, that's the same story, different channel. Story uh, Set the right. Edge just came out with a killer video about the Jets. The and he broke down Adam Gase in 30 seconds. And I'm just like, wow, like, how is this? He's like, he runs up the gut. He, he calls plays, pass plays that take way too long to develop. He doesn't help out his quarterback. <laughs> he marketed himself as some offensive guru, but he's not. And I'm like, this is exactly like, this is what's going like. And everybody sees this and he uses, he, he, he said Frank, uh, Frank Gore and Le'Veon Bell look the exact same, which is like, that shouldn't happen. You shouldn't just run these guys up the gut. You know, when you got Bell, you got, you have to use Le'Veon Bell. He's one of the best receivers in the game. You know, he's like a really big Camara essentially. And you're just running them up the gut every play. It makes zero sense. My theory is he is really good at interviewing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Marketer. He says all the right things. Yeah. He says what you want to hear, and then when it comes time to perform, 
He's horrible at his job. Yeah, he's you know he he figured out a way because he's never done it. He didn't improve Jay Cut. I mean, ever since Peyton Manning broke the record, he hasn't done anything. He made the Dolphins worse. He didn't improve Jay Cutler's numbers, and then yeah, he brought in Jay Cutler to the Dolphins. Like he's done nothing good. You can argue he's messed up things more. Uh, then and then done well, and he's not an offensive guru. And I, you know, I would call way better plays than him. I'm not a good. I'm not saying I'm good. That's that's the point of my statement. I'm not good. So uh, just just playing Madden and calling play, like why would I don't understand some of the, some of the things he do he does and uh, he still has a job. Maybe there's a conspiracy there. I agree. We should look into this. So Definitely he may, he may have had a good interview, Mike, but maybe it doesn't stop there. He might still be like, look, I have a plan. It's a it's a mad mad scientist plan. You just got to wait out another 12 weeks for it to work, and then we're going to get Trevor. I don't it's know. one more season. It's like, yeah, that's like, basically right. one more. Like, <laughs> dude, I like you should have fired you like at the end of last year. That would have been perfect to get fired like. Or he has like blackmail on all the coaches. Something. Yeah, that's or what I was ownership. thinking with the Dolphins yeah. when that guy was, uh, yeah. you know, had a running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was uh, sniffling a lot. It was snowy. In Miami. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> a baby, I love you. I'm gonna leave my wife. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my <laughs> wife for you. Oh God. <laughs> oh, I gotta get to work. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my wife. I'm gonna. Gaze is calling me. I'm gonna come home. Oh shoot, I don't gaze. <laughs> Tua, I'm glad Tua went there. He needs to bring some, you know, some good values to the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> oh, Have you ever seen his uh that like documentary show that he has, Tua? Um, that was on like ESPN. He's just a good kid, man. He's just a good, wholesome kid. Great family. He's gonna be the next. I don't know what he's gonna be, but he's gonna be better than Marcus Mariota, and that's all that matters for Hawaii. So would would Tua and like a uh, Herbert be like best friends and, and start like a Disney sitcom together. Yeah. I think they could, <laughs> How do you go? Rated, rated, rated G or PG rated, rated, G, rated G. Sure. Okay. Rated G. Or e for everyone. <laughs> e for... <laughs> so it's, ages it's, zero it's, and up. Like yeah, could watch that it, show. Wholesome entertainment. There you go. Wholesome entertainment. For us. Don't want that right. stinky t- to Rod Taylor with his hole in his lawn. My God, talk about conspiracies, guys. Am I right? That's the biggest conspiracy that no one's talking about in 2020. Yeah. We already put it in the back burner, but <laughs> how big is the hole, Tyrod? We need to know. <laughs> that is That was so weird. Dude could have died. Well, at least they caught it. And uh, Breaking news, everyone. Uh, Herbert is officially the starter. For the Chargers, okay. it's been announced by. Did they just tell the coach Anthony that? Or something, no, or? it was a little bit sarcasm. <laughs> the, it, the real sarcasm is because there's so much news that, like, and bigger news always that basically any time you say breaking news, you can like two seconds later there's going to be bigger news. Yeah. So what is the uh, what is, what is the games? The uh, I feel like we should. Announce the two games. I'm bringing up the Facebook group here. The um, Titans Bills. Uh, two games have been postponed. Titans Bills for sure. Titan. And okay, I got it right here. Titans versus yeah. Bills has been tentatively moved to Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Yeah. Eastern, barring any further positive tests. Has there ever been a Tuesday night game before? This is the – no, I don't Versus, think so. Is this like history in the making? This is crazy. I mean, that's one way to put it. <laughs> you say it with a smile on your face and make it sound positive. Like this is folks, we're making history. Uh, <laughs> it's not good history, but Tom Brady forgot history. that it was third it was fourth down. Folks, we're making history here. <laughs> Who would like to forget that? Old quarterback <laughs> forgot it was fourth down. Maybe his onset dementia. We don't even know. It could, it's like, what's that? Alzheimer's? He could be. It could be the star. Could be. I don't know. Patriots versus Broncos has been moved to Monday night at 5 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Okay. Just I didn't know all that. these. That's yeah. Shoot me. To be honest, I don't know 
Oh, well, Gilmore tested positive. Oh, yeah. Cam tested hugged, positive. And then he hugged Mahomes at the end. It was a long, mouthy hug. Um, St- Stefan Gilmore. Lots of news and photos, photo evidence and news going around that he's spreading germs. Evidently, photo of him uh, close to Patrick Mahomes' mouth right after the game and went out to dinner with Cam Newton on Friday. Mm, super spreader? Maybe. Speaking of germs. <laughs> segue, Got it. Segue. Got him. Nice. Uh, who's your matchup this week in the Couch League? The one, the only, germ. With three M's. Germ. And what did he do? <laughs> his, first, his first act, he played Gronk over Jimmy Graham. So you're 4-0. And you're facing you're 4-0 germ. 4-0 first place playing germ and his horribly assembled team. <sighs> well, to be fair to germ, he at least, I mean, it, he got eight points from Gronk, which That's is incredible. Yeah. Yes. So That's like starting Kyle Uchek and getting like yeah, yeah. And getting eight getting points like from points. him. That's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. nice. It's amazing. Yeah. No, yeah, it's definitely on the, the high ceiling <laughs> spectrum for Gronk. So I was very surprised. But like I said, Germ believes in Gronk's career more than Gronk's agent believes in his own career. So that's what's crazy, like the faith that he has in Gronk. But I love it because he's going to lose now. So that's great. Uh, well, it's not over, but you got the better team, your favorite to I mean, sleeper, Sleeper's projections are actually okay. Now, they project you have a 57% chance to win this. So I would say it's probably more. But who knows? He's got Patrick Mahomes. I got Kyler Murray. It's not that much different. He's got Odell's kind of up and down. He's Odell. There's does, no way. There's no way Odell's putting up back to back. Yeah, you know he's a no he's an even week guy for sure. For sure, he's gonna have a, a dud. Week I five is it. an odd number, folks. Yeah, you got yeah, Hayden Hurst. You know, I didn't even want to say it, but Hayden Hurst is gonna have a good game. I know that. Yeah. That's why he's in my he's starting lineup. Good game. Greg Zerline's a great start by Germ, though. I yeah, it's his that. best player. <laughs> it is his best player. And Keenan Allen. Sure. Um, he has a, yeah, that's where he has the advantage, kicking. <laughs> Germ's defense and kicker is pretty good. Yeah, always better than me, damn it. Uh, oh, you're going on with the Browns D? Yeah, I don't know. Um... <laughs> I mean, it's medio. It's I mean, not bad. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not bad. Home. It's not good. It's a it's a mediocre defense this week. I feel like the Browns are on the rise this year. I think they got some confidence. They're definitely like one of the you know surprise three and one teams in the league. They did lose Chubb, which is obviously going to affect them. Not but... that much, because when you got Hunt, yeah. yeah. Because uh, Stefanski is a freaking genius, bro. Like he's really. I mean, he really proved himself what he did with the Vikings and what he's doing with the Bre- – like, it's proof. It's the opposite of Adam Gase, basically. And he's going to be fine. He's, as long as Hunt's healthy, uh, he's going to be – Hunt's more efficient runner than Chubb anyways, and he can I catch better. arguably at one point when he was on the Chiefs, like, just the same level of, you know, like, recognition as Chubb. Like, he was – supposed to be the guy yeah. on the Chiefs. Yeah, well, Chubb is more efficient and a better pass catcher than – Ch- uh, Hunt, but not by much. Hunt. Not no, by Chubb's, much. Ch- uh, Chubb is incredible. He's elite. But I'm just yeah. saying, like that's what you got to. I, I think the it, drop off is not that much. No, not saying. not at all. It's just that you know you, the the bad thing is you don't have that second guy to really that's hunt. What that's is. what that's the real thing. That's, that's is that both thing. guys were never tired at any point. Yeah, they were both fresh as heck. Thing. Like, um, and, and defenses they they didn't want. They hated that. Is you got two. So you're of those down. Guys. So you're down on to Ernest Johnson, is what you're telling me. No, nah, he's okay. I mean, we got Stefanski, man. Don't be scared. Right. Ernest okay. Johnson's uh he's a good add in twelve team leagues for sure. Try to get him. Get I'm him. going up against Cuddy now. You got to – This is this is kind of cool. You're in first place, four and zero. I'm in second place, three and one. You got a fifty seven percent chance to win. I got a fifty six percent chance to win against the angry, disgruntled Cuddy. <laughs> People talked up his team. They don't. They didn't realize that drafting three tight ends, including Waller, is a bad strategy. I don't know what's. What are you? Who knew? Yeah. Well, YouTube haters need to step up their game for sure. Um, 
so Do better. So, uh, Germ beat Cuddy, and uh, he didn't like that. that a- Cuddy did not like that, and so Cuddy's pissed. Um, he's two and two, but uh, I think I'm gonna win. If I think we're both gonna win, you know, and if the Titans don't play, um, I'm actually okay. I have because I got Drake on my bench. Nice. And even though Drake sucks, he's got a great matchup. He's very startable this week. Very um, startable. But you know, do, I featured sit though. Do we? Just yeah, we don't him. trust him though. Is the thing. I don't. Trust yeah, we. Him. Who can trust him? I think he's uh he's uh what do you call it? You know how he's a second half wonder last season? I think that was a fluke. I just feel like that was a fluke. He is who we thought he was, as Danny Green once said. He's just an average back. He's the guy that came from Miami, and that's who he is. He's just not. We'll that see. Good. What do you What do you do? And I, right now, I have open uh, your week four uh, buy low sell high list from last week. So what do you, What would you do with Drake? Can't do anything. You gotta You gotta just hold him. Hopefully, he does good today this week. And then if he does, then get rid of him. Would you trade for him though? Thinking you can get him for. Would I trade Cheap. for yeah. him? Oh yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I just don't have a good feeling about him this year. Yeah. I'll say, just don't feel like he's gonna turn it around. I just don't. I I would say yes, trade for him. But really, you got to get him for dirt cheap. I would not. Like, I would trade like Jerry McKinnon for him. Yeah, like, that's the that type of trade. Mike I would Davis. Consider. That's oh, a small. I don't one. even know. I don't even know how I do that. Well, C Mac should be back soon. Will he though? C Mac will be back in two know. weeks. You sure? Well, he's going to come sure. back. He's going to come back at some He's a, you know, four to six week timetable. He was, you know, got hurt week two. He'll be back soon. All right. Hopefully. I've been waiting. He'll Seems be like back. That's a, pushed out every week. That's a great trade. Mike Davis for Kenyon Drake. So here's the thing. Um, hopefully he'll have a good game against the Jets because – there's really no there's there's two there's two ways to succeed as a football team uh, that's guaranteed. That's when you face the Falcons and then when you face the Jets. And yeah. no matter how like no matter what happens, whether it's Flacco, whether it's Darnold, whether they have a lead, whether they don't, I mean, it doesn't matter. Those two teams, you're it, it, it's it's good. It's a great. It's like having a bye week. Um, uh, there's no better way to bounce back. Kenyon Drake, he's healthy. He had, uh, got the wind knocked out of him. And, you know, he'll be back. I hope I hope he'll be good. I have him in two leagues, I think. Two out of 14 leagues. Um, so I'm just going to put out a hot take. I think Edmonds is the better back. That's a hot take. But it remains to be seen. Well, that's one of the biggest things is that Drake is not involved in the passing game. He's not even running routes. He's not getting targets. And, you know, we that Drake owners would at least like to see him get a couple here and there. He's kind of playing like David Johnson did last season. He's yeah, pretty he's much, like on that yeah, level. Exactly. Bad. He looks like a 2019 <laughs> David Johnson. David Johnson. <laughs> Slightly better, but not much. One guy I want to talk about is Todd Gurley. Um, oh, Aiden says, would you trade Gurley for Drake? Um, no. Because no. Drake's like a worse no. Gurley. <laughs> uh, Gurley's so, better. So here's here's the thing with Gurley, and I love this. So, see, remember I told you, I think we, we both got this kind of right, was I'd be like, hey, wait a week, you know, because yeah, I like, yeah. to, I like yeah. to risk it. So now's the perfect time to trade him. Um, or you mm-hmm. can – you know, be something like, hey, you know, it's all good. You don't want him, I'll keep him. I think he's got, you know, I value him because he's going to have another good game. He's got a great matchup against the Panthers as the highest scoring, uh, projected to be the highest scoring points, high scoring game of the week by far, 55 over under. And man, he's going to, he's going to do good. Like it's a great game script. You know, Falcons are favored to win. It's crazy. Well, they got to win one. I They're mean, at home. I guess that's Vegas figures yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, but no, but like the stats, the odds say that they're due for a, a win. Yeah. Like, it's you know, hard to go 0 and 16 is the thing. They're too good to go to be like a winless team. Yeah. They're much better than a winless team should be. Yeah, they are. Uh, well, not their defense. 
Yeah, but I mean, when Matt Ryan shouldn't be on four, like he just shouldn't. Um, they were in the Super Bowl like two years ago or something, right? Like three years ago. No, they lost to the goat. I know. They went like to the ago, they went right? to the Super Bowl and lost to the goat. Was that? But that wasn't that, that was long because ago. of Kyle Shanahan, though. Let's face yeah, it. Matt Ryan's true. best year, Devontae Freeman's best year, Taylor Gabriel's career. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. think it was all tied to Shanahan. Like yeah, it's pretty yeah. obvious the Shanahan effect. Shanahan does choke in the Super Bowl. That's yeah, a fact. he does. And he does choke. I mean, he choked less. He, he choked less. I less. I'd say he choked less. way less. Much less, but still choked. Yeah. Um. So Todd Gurley, forty-four point two percent of his fantasy points are coming from touchdowns. And that is a little bit worrisome. And he's getting just good enough snaps to be relevant. And you know, as far as what the Falcons are doing, they're smart because you don't. Well, I mean, you don't really want to run this guy to the ground. You want him to last a little bit. And uh, they're giving him enough snaps. He has a good floor. You know, he's the type of guy to get you ten fantasy points. But um, I watched the Falcons play, and bad news is maybe other people seeing him play because it was prime time. But he, you know, he did not look that good. Um, I was wrong about him. He's not that great. Nonetheless, he's still an RB2, a solid one, and you drafted him as an RB2. So I'm with that attitude. It's not just a negotiating point. Be like, hey, let me sell you Gurley. Let me trade away Gurley. Let me give you Gurley. And if the guy's like, you know, being around the bush or is uh, reluctant, be like, no problem. I'll keep him. He's a good, solid RB2. He has a high floor. You know what? Actually... Guy, I was thinking about starring him anyways. It's all good. So now you just you got back your leverage. You're not desperate. And you could start him, then trade him. Something's going to happen this week. I don't know what's going to happen. Some bad's going to happen. Some bad happens every week. It's just what it is. I'm not being negative. There's injuries. There's bad things. I mean, we have a Tuesday game, for God's sakes. A lot of things are happening. Uh, so you can trade him away. Um, this week, I'm also thinking, uh, what do you think about trading away a guy like James Conner within the next two weeks before he gets hurt? Yeah. I mean, I definitely think he will get hurt at some point. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm on board with that. That's, sure. that's why I love stashing Anthony McFarlane. If you're in a 12 team league or deeper, because he's the next, you know, he could be the next uh, running back there. Even though he started out as the fourth string running back. I knew that. I knew that when I made the video. Benny Snell sucks, though. So Benny the Snail know. is, you know, the Benny snail. That's so weird that he looked kind of good that first week. And then the team's like, I hate you. Um, Jalen <laughs> Samuels is, you know, come on. Who's stashing that guy? Nobody. Too old. Yeah, he's done. Uh, and, uh, I think it's Anthony McFarlane. I, I think he can be like an Antonio Gibson type of player, and he's on the right team. Uh, really, though, Connor does, ha- you know, it has to be an injury to Connor or something for you really to make way because the, the number of touches he'll get won't be, if Connor's healthy, won't be enough uh, for me to start him. So, yeah, um, let's take some questions. Uh, but before that, anything else? Did you want to talk about before you do Q and A? Um, no, I'm good. Nothing comes to mind. Um, I promised people a germ story. I think I'm gonna from the Patreon. I said we'll do a germ story here, but I feel like it's inappropriate. So I'm gonna do the germ. St- I'm I'm it, pedaling back, and I'm gonna do. Back, I'm gonna do. Back. I might even bring Mike on if he's available on a Friday evening. And I'll do the germ pedaling back, doing the germ story for the Patreon only live streams Friday, which is tomorrow so oh, it's less than 24 ooh, hours right perfect yeah so we'll do the germ <laughs> i got so many germ stories i'll do all the tv ma because some of them are worse than tv Should you right? make like a shirt like a germ shirt <laughs> a germ <laughs> shirt yeah yeah what would be on the, what what is on the shirt the emoji what is on the yeah, shirt yeah emoji or him as the niner character like the gold miner character, like you know the skit. This is cool. Okay. I like this. A yeah, germ yeah. shirt. I think it's time. Because the thing is, is it'll sell like it'll sell. a lot to the small amount of people who are into the right. germ lore. But all the yeah. people into it would want a shirt, like yeah, a germ shirt. Yeah, think about it. It's so hot. It's such a hot yeah. idea. I know. 
I know. I'm full of them. Thoughts on DJ Moore. Uh, Mike, DJ Moore is playing against the Falcons. This is the gate. I just, this is the gate get right matchup. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't do good this this week, he oh. should definitely panic. No, you're already <laughs> panicking. You're just yeah, hoping. You're, panicking. you're just hoping he'll get some targets this game. Like it's, it's. Not been mad. I feel like I was the only guy not on the DJ Moore hype train. Um, I do have him in one league, but he fell. He fell to round five. What am I supposed to do? Not take him in round five? Yeah, or, what, or no, it was round four. That's or just something. good value. That's yeah, I got value. Mike Evans uh, late round three, and then DJ Moore was available round four. Yeah, as I felt like I had to take him. I have one share of DJ Moore for sure. One out so. of fourteen leagues. That's very. That's so little. Yeah, it's not bad. That's fine. But I think he'll have yeah. a good game. I think so. He has to. He has to have a couple good games this season, like the law of averages say. It's just a slow start, you know. A lot of crazy things. Have but been he's not the year. he's not the num the number the there's two guys. Robbie Anderson, yeah, Robbie man, Anderson, you know? and then the and whoever is the starting running back. Mike Davis, and that's it. Or as in now, it's Mike Davis before it was C Mac. Yeah. Right. But that's but that's it. No one else is doing anything. The tight and end. Uh, Cam, he had a, a much better connection with Cam, and I think he's missing that. Uh, Kyle it. Allen. Yeah, his Kyle main... Allen. Uh, he's not the one. He's just a gap, stop gap till the next. Yeah, but he quarter. was the one that was throwing him the ball a lot. When last season? Yeah. Uh, DJ well, Moore did well last season. That's true. He did do. Kyle that. Allen played thirteen games, I think. And now they figured him out. They figured out what Kyle Allen likes to do, and they took it away. Just like every other defense does. Great. Well, defense. they got a new coach, new quarterback, and Panthers are playing okay. Actually, a decent team. Uh, That's true. Decent. Royal says, I was on the DJ Moore hype train, still holding out hope. He has a ton of air yards and is extremely talented. What would you do? Let's say he has a good game. Would you sell? I would buy low. I'm going to buy low. You're going to buy low, game. hoping he turns it around. Yeah. I think so. Because this is, I mean, DJ, he's talented. Like, he's, this isn't like him. I think this is uncharacteristic. So, I'm not panicking on him yet. I'm holding out so hope. If you'd that buy low, you might as well buy low now before he plays the Falcons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, people, I've seen trades come across. Someone tried to trade. <laughs> Someone, Germ. Oh, it's funny. I'm going to bring this up. Today, Germ is trading Jarek McKinnon to someone for uh, Brandon Ayuk. <laughs> That's the German trade of all time. Oh my god, that's so funny. I don't know what to say to that. I mean, yeah, like well, everyone's confused. We're like, what is this? Like, this is the weirdest trade I've ever seen. You know, it's because he jumped over that guy. Yeah, of course, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. There is no other reason. Well, you told me he was talking in like really weird. In in yeah. he was talking in ton about YouTube yes, and Brandon Ayuk and. Yeah, something something snapped in his brain where he's like, I I must have I you, <laughs> like after he jumped over someone. Well, like, good thing me and you have him on Dynasty and probably on true. our bench, which is where he belongs. <laughs> no, I'm starting him. Oh, you're starting yeah, him. So oh, you... my team sucks. My team sucks. So what are you two and two, right? Yeah, but it's I'm more of a fluky two and two. Like I should not have won any games. What are you talking about? You're okay. You'll be fine. No, because C Mac got hurt and. He'll be back in a couple weeks. Ah, uh, let's see. You should trade him after he comes trade back. Him. Well, he's gonna get a lot of work. He's. I feel like he might not. In, in dynasty, that's ridiculous. Why is that ridiculous? Because he's only bad this season, but next season he's gonna be fine. What are you talking? About? I. He's not bad. He's just hurt. Yeah, but we don't know that. We don't know how this season's gonna turn out. Yeah, that's yeah. what he comes back. He has some good games. You should. I don't think he's gonna be you should now. trade him. For what? You can trade him for first round picks. You should see the. Ah. You should see what I get. You could trade. You could trade him probably for three first rounders and a running T-Mac, back. The number one running back in fantasy the last. Yeah, three years. you could get so much for him. That's my point. 
I just no, but I feel like this is just one down year. He'll be back in the next two to three years. He'll be fine. And then after that, he might have too much tread on the tire. That's my point. Well, that's it's fine. He'll be okay. Well, he'll yeah, he'll he'll be good. But I I don't know. I feel like you could get so mad so much for him. Um, but he, what what is your what is your point? You, you got C Mac. He's gonna be back. You know, he'll start balling out in three weeks. From now. I just don't want to trade a sure thing. Don't like, trade know... him then. In three weeks, yeah. he'll be balling oh. out. He'll be back to normal. He'll be fine. He'll be balling. And if he does it, he'll be back next year. And and you're two and two. You, you know? just gotta hold off till C Mac comes back. You can hold off. You can get it. You can get already, one more win. I see the writing on the wall. It's not looking good. I know. I know fantasy teams. Trust me. I know ones that are built for the long haul, and my team is not. It's gonna crumble. Any minute now. I'm starting Brandon Ayuk. That should tell you enough. You could ball out. Yeah, Maybe. but like you said, you shouldn't be on anyone's starting lineup. He should yeah. be on your bench. That's where he belongs. You jumped over one guy. That doesn't mean he's a starter. But obviously, maybe Jerm knows something I don't. I don't know. We'll find Jerm out. Jerm knows nothing. <laughs> Keep starting drunk, though. <laughs> okay, so uh, Royal said Kittle is a buy low. This is the week four list. Let me underline yeah. that because it's yeah, I'm trying to make confusing. that. Yeah, yeah. So that was a great buy low, by yes, the it way, was. before his 40-point outburst. Great buy low. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the best buy low that we had. The AMR says, I'm starting Dearness Johnson. It's okay. dynasty. I, mean, I don't hate it. Stuff I don't happened. hate it. I mean, that's a I desperate start. I'm starting Miles Gaskin. Uh apparently I in that league that you were in the Dynasty League, I started Anthony Miller. No, that's Yeek. desperate as hell. That's that's desperation. Honestly, I don't know if I meant to, but um yeah, I didn't really I didn't I mean look at I have Scotty Miller on my bench. I guess I made Scotty the right choice. Scotty, oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, Chris right Got Miller. by the way, Chris Godwin. Uh, I, I went robust RB and I drafted Chris Godwin. So that's that's where I'm at right that's now in this league. Uh, ah. It's a dynasty league. I thought Anthony Miller was going to be good. Uh, I was wrong about him on my sleep. I picked list. him up. I picked him up this week. Someone dropped him and picked him up. I'm not even going to. He'll have better weeks. Bucks defense is good. So I thought he looked good tonight. All things considered, I didn't expect much. He got some four targets, catches. four catches. Not bad. He did made the most of what he got. Yeah. So he just got to get his target. I feel like he's just better with foals. Cause he's yeah, catching. Yeah, that's what I got him. I actually kind of like bought low on him on Anthony Miller, knowing that his ceiling's much higher with Foles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and uh, so the AMR is starting uh, Dearness over Brandon Cooks, or as we call him, Brandon okay. Poops. Yeah. Like he, hey, at least you know Dearness is gonna get some touches. I Brandon Cooks, man, put in a goose he's egg. He's done. Stick a fork in him. He's done. I mean, God. So off the game, you know, the game came on where Brandon Cooks was in the Super Bowl for the Patriots. Uh, yeah. I was on NFL Network the other day, and you saw the hit, Ooh. and he was out cold. It looked like he went unconscious for a second, and it's like this is who we're talking about. And the next year, he same, you know, he gets a concussion. He's a small guy. He's brilliant. It's like man, the guy's getting hit in the head over the middle every year. And that's what I was saying. I was like, why would you draft this guy? You know, he might retire this year. He was one of the guys that could have opted out for sure. Like, yeah, you know what? Let's opted. take a break. <laughs> yeah. He was like an opt out. Like one of the guys you'd be scared to opt out. Brandon um, Cooks is a, a, you know, Stockton native. Shout out to 209. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, his career has been, you know, kind of a disappointment ever since he left the Rams. Well, he was talented on the Saints, but it was just kind of a red flag that all the injuries and he could never stay on a team, which is a little bit a weird. Flag. Yeah, I mean, he's on a new team every year. Um, so I think this is the end of the road, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bill O'Brien is fired, baby. We'll see what happens. It's a new regime. J.J. Watts, the interim head coach. <laughs> Deshaun Watson's taking over. It's dancing with the Watts. Dancing with the Watts. Love it. Um, yeah, that's uh that's really it. I hope you beat Germ. I hope I will be Germ. I hope I beat Cuddy. And uh guys, 
Panthers Falcons game. Start everyone that game. It's gonna be crazy. Couch, would you go Drake or Diggs? Diggs, that what this week? Is that even a question? If Diggs plays, I mean they are gonna play on Tuesday, but yeah, yeah. that's not even a question. What? I know. I think actually it's close, but I'm going Diggs too because. Wow. Uh, you know, John is Brown, it? again, I think is questionable. He hobbled off the field or so. I know he, he came up hobbled. So I don't, that's all the information I got. And so I don't know if he's even hurt or not or whatever. But we all know John Brown is fairly uh, injury prone. And Josh Allen is fairly an MVP candidate. This yeah, year. with Stephon Diggs one of the top five receivers this year. It's pretty like, amazing. Yeah. So good. As far How as would you uh, been- Let's bring up make Stephon Diggs. He seems like his floor, absolute floor, is ten points. Yeah, right off the I bat. have him in couch league. He's great. You have him in couch league. Yeah, he's my flex. I'm going to just click on. I have him, Cooper Cup, and Tyree Kill as my receivers. Click on Stephon Diggs here. Stephon Diggs put up 16, 29, 15, and seventeen. So his floor is maybe a little closer to 15 in full PPR yeah, then. So that's a great floor for a wa- great wide floor. receivers don't have floor. So exactly. essentially, so for a guy to get, you know, this many catches, this many targets every game and shake the, def- and he's always open down the field is what's great too. So yeah. Kirk Cousins was the problem, not Stephon Diggs. That's the problem. Oh, and not now what Josh has... Allen fixed his accuracy issue. He's not inaccurate anymore. He's a great quarterback right. now. Well, it's year four. It's like, come on. It's fun to watch. That, say, say that to Josh to the Josh Rosen truthers. Well, I mean, that's not even on the same <laughs> yeah. discussion. What about Sam Darnold? That's just, is that the same? Oh, he, well, the Jets ruined his career. That's not his fault. It's Adam Gase's fault. It's Adam Gase's fault. It's the Ghost's fault. It's a lot of people's faults. Um, so, so, okay. So the game getting, we'll end on this. If the game is getting canceled or whatnot, this is what I'm, I have no idea what the hell's going on. All right. Everyone's winning it. We all know that we're doing our best in life and in fantasy. NFL's winning it. We're winning it. We're trying, we're trying to do what we can. What I'm, what I'm fairly confident in is if this game gets canceled week two. So if it gets played after Tuesday, you know, or, or something like that or, or whatever, they got to forfeit any, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but if anything like that happens, I think we'll have enough time to know at least before Sunday kickoff. So today's Thursday. So I think we would know like tomorrow, for example. So hmm. every, you know, tomorrow we're going to wake up tomorrow. We're going to go to work and then there's going to be a lot of news or we're going to wake up and see a lot of news when we wake, wake up. How are there any positive tests, any negative tests, who screwed up, you know, what happened? We'll probably know by tomorrow. I'm fairly confident we know by Sunday because this this with this scenario doesn't make any sense. It's Tuesday, three o'clock and they go, oh, oopsie, no game. Like, I don't think that's going to happen on Tuesday. I think it's going to be announced. <sighs> before sunday kickoff it just wouldn't be fair to anybody so agree. we'd be fine so you'd know so that that gives you enough time to do whatever you got to do talk to your commission bench your players uh make trades do uh what you got to do all right last one mike's drake or gibson gibson oh boy i'm going with drake pick pick who you want all right guys we're gonna end on that good luck this week